Hey everyone, it's Tim. Uh, today I have kind of a silly video for you. It's again about Warhammer, um, but I want to show you something that I thought was really neat about the Hammerfall bunker. Um, so I have no intention of probably ever playing with this as an actual fortification piece within an army. I just thought it was cool and it sat at my local game store for a long time. Nobody bought it. I thought it was neat. It was on sale, so I picked it up. Um, I'm going to paint it up for my Blood Angels army and it'll just be field decoration and that's it um waste of money potentially who knows i thought it looked neat but when i cracked it open um as with pretty much everything else from games workshop which i don't think enough people give them credit for um this is what uh you would call family mold so i don't know if you know it about me but i'm a mechanical engineer and i work in the molding um plastic industry and i work with stuff like this all the time doing family molds like this is extremely hard um it's ideal to have just one part um, spread out a bunch of times in one runner. So to get this to actually balance properly with all the pressures and fill, um, the fact that it doesn't get messed up more um, is amazing. And it's kind of one of the reasons I actually validate how much some of this stuff costs. Um, granted, you get some splay in the plastic and you get some sink in the really thicker parts. You want to have uniform thickness going throughout all your parts within one shot. Um, but considering all that, they do a great job. But what I noticed that I thought was neat was you look at this, and you get two sprues. So you can see based on the way the bunker looks, it's basically half of the bunker. You know, you have half the top, you got half the uh, side pieces, um, but then I gravitated right away towards the missiles. And I thought maybe they gave you one of each of the missiles and you get the super frack and the super, the super frag and super crack. Um, and then I noticed they're the exact same. So I was like, well, that's kind of dumb you are gonna use literally every single piece in here. You know, like I'm gonna magnetize my flamers and my bolters so I can swap them in and out, but you know, maybe some people will glue them in and then you end up with a bunch of flamers if you wanna use bolters. But you're gonna be left with these two missiles. And then I turned it over and I noticed that they actually have the back of the missile is the rear of the missile pod. So whoever designed these pieces was super clever and should be given a raise over at Games Workshop. Because instead of having these be wasted parts, it's the back of the missile pod. So you use two of them in the front and then you use the other two in the back from the other sprue. And I just think that's like one of the cleanest, simplest little things. And it just gets the engineer and me all excited. Um, yeah, so if you're looking for <laughs> something fun to build, um, I recommend the Hammerfall Bunker. I haven't put it together yet. Um, I'll show you some pictures and video when I do mine. Uh, but yeah, I just thought this was really neat from a kind of molding engineering standpoint. So uh, yeah, take a look at some of the sprues when you're putting these things together. And I know everybody likes to complain about how expensive they are, but there's a lot of engineering that goes into this in the background that you never see. Um, some of this is weeks and weeks of processing just to get your first shot to actually work correctly. Um, let alone all the design work and everything else that goes into it, marketing and et cetera. So um, yeah, this is just my engineering appreciation post of the day. So I hope you enjoyed. Um, and uh, until I see you next time, have a great day. All right, thanks, bye.